What is considered normal, especially with blood pressure? Normal has to have a context. Um, whether you're at home checking your blood pressure because you're nervous versus here at the Instacare or urgent care or an emergency department and you have a broken wrist or a really bad cough, it all depends on the context. It's been commonly held the belief that vital signs change with age with kids, but uh, nobody's really looked at it with adults in the outpatient setting. Normal ranges for blood pressure and heart rate have traditionally been described as being the same across age groups and adults. The urgent care literature in general is fairly sparse because it's such a new um, way of providing healthcare. And so we thought we could contribute to that. Since we're Intermountain, we're able to look at a large number of patient visits over um, a number of years, and then tie that to the outcomes. The aim of the study was to try to give a depth perception to providers and patients on what is a normal vital sign, uh, what is it as far as a heart rate, blood pressure, does it make a difference if you're 80 or 35? Um, Dr. Hart had already embarked upon creating a database because um, he had noticed some trends in um, relating abnormal vital signs to short-term out outcomes such as hospitalization or even death. And so we were, through our collaboration, lucky to be able to gradually grow the resources to build a database of uh, almost, one point, almost over 1.7 million patient encounters and <clears throat> then get the team together who was able to analyze those um, encounters to say, what happens after you visit an, an Instacare or an urgent care? What happens in the next week or the next three or four days? As opposed to what is traditionally taught, we did find significant differences with heart rate and blood pressure values across different age groups in what is considered normal and what is considered rare or risky. We hope that this is the start of uh, using big data to change you know, ideas in healthcare that have been held on to for an excessively long time. Ultimately, what we want to do is be able to predict when you walk into the urgent care and you're not feeling well, um, where are you best served? 99% chance it's going to be at the urgent care, but maybe there's something else that suggests that you may need hospitalization. We want to be able to identify that as early in your contact with the healthcare system as possible.